first, the highlights. Governor Sawalu approves appointment of new court marshal for Lagasque, general manager for Lagos State Waste Water Management Office. Independence National Electoral Commission begins distribution of materials ahead Saturday's rerun by elections. Under Warrington, Pakistani court jails former Prime Minister Imran Khan, 10 years. And in sports and practice of Nigeria to face world champions, Argentina in friendly. And now the details. I am Mike James. Lagos State Governor Baba Jide Sawolu has approved the appointment of retired Major Olani Olatibosun Kool as the new Corps Marshal of the Lagos State Environmental Sanitation Corps Agency, Lagask, and Engineer Adefemi Adedimeji Afolabi as the General Manager of the Lagos Waste Water Management Office, Las Wamo. In separate letters of appointment signed by the Head of Service, Bodiaguru, the appointment of the two took effect from 25th January 2024. Governor Zawalu also approved the appointment of three new deputy corps marshals for Lagesk, Kai, namely Mr. Oshifesho, Olushegun Shakiru, Intelligence and Monitoring, Mr. Oyinola, Kweijo, Kadri, Discipline and Welfare, and Mr. Akmin Oido, Yisa, Admin. The appointment of the three new deputy corps marshals, two of whom were elevated from the Largesk personnel, also took effect from 25th of January 2024. The head of service enjoined the new appointees to demonstrate a high level of dedication, diligence and selflessness in the discharge of their duties to justify the confidence and trust of Mr. Governor. Lagos State Government has promised residents of the state that their safety will be prioritized with necessary engagement with critical stakeholders in this new year. The government also enjoins citizens to always take proactive safety measures in personal, occupational and business environments. Commissioner for Special Duties and Intergovernmental Relations, Ulubinga Oyeridi, stated this at a management retreat organized for staff of the commission with the theme, Human-Centric Safety Culture. The Irene said the estimated population of the state, which is over 20 million, urgently calls for a proactive safety consciousness rather than a reactive one, stressing that the safety of workers must be strategically positioned towards giving quality service to the people of the state. The commissioner, who emphasized the pivotal role the safety of workers play in realizing the themes plus agenda of the state's government, applauded the previous efforts of the commission aimed at repositioning the state's safety architecture. The federal government has reversed its directive suspending ongoing reconstruction work at the LMA or net section of the East West Road and River State. It also directed the affected contractor to immediately resume work on all sections of the project and in strict compliance with the contract specifications. Early on Sunday, the Minister of Works, David Mahi, during an unscheduled visit to the project site, expressed sadness over the slow pace of work, even after the government had made an advance payment of 33 billion naira. He said the order became imperative following the use of substandard materials by the contractor handling the project. But the new directive contained in a statement signed by the Minister's Special Advisor on Media, Oji Uchena, says the Minister has rescinded the decision following the meeting with the Permanent Secretary and Key Directors of the Ministry at the Ministry Headquarters in Abuja. And now to the rest of the stories. Independence National Electoral Commission, INEC, has commenced the distribution of sensitive materials to some of the 26 states where rerun and by elections will be held on Saturday. INEC Chairman Mahmoud Yakubu announced this when he led top officials of the commission on a visit to the Chief of Air Staff Hazan Abubakar in Abuja. Yakubu explained that because of peculiar challenges, the commission would need to help of the Nigerian Air Force, NAF to deliver similar materials to state in the northeast, southeast and southwest where the elections would also be held. 
Ignana the Air Force for its cooperation in the area of security and logistics during general and other elections in the past. In his reaction, the Chief of Air Staff expressed NAP's willingness to collaborate with INEC, especially in providing security and assisting in logistics distribution. He pointed out that the relationship between NAF and INEC is anchored on shared objectives geared towards ensuring that good governance, stability and the rule of law reigned in the country. The federal government and the American government have signed a memorandum of understanding for the training of the commanders of the Police Special Intervention Squad, SIS, to tackle banditry and other raging crimes in the country. The Inspector General of Police, Wulukaide Egbetu, inaugurated the training program in Abuja in partnership with the United States Bureau of International Narcotics and Law Enforcement Affairs. Egbetu said the program was designed to prepare the trainees for the challenges associated with their new responsibility of taking up the lead positions in combating the scourge of kidnapping, banditry, and robbery, and terrorism, among others. The SIS is an initiative of the IGP that was created to combat violent crimes across the 36 states of the Federation and the Federal Capital Territory. Since its creation, the SIS had only been established in two territories, Plato State and the FCT following the rise in banditry and kidnapping in both places. And in some foreign news, a Pakistan court has handed from a Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan a 10-year jail term for leaking state secrets. The jail term is a second conviction for Khan in recent months and ensures the popular former Prime Minister will remain in jail and out of the public spotlight ahead of next week's general elections. The special court found Khan guilty of making public the contents of a secret cable sent by Pakistan's ambassador in Washington to the government in Islamabad. Former Foreign Minister Sa Mahmood Qureshi also was sentenced to 10 years in the same case. And over to sports news, the Super Eagles of Nigeria will face world champions Argentina in a friendly build for a march at the Olympic Sports Center Stadium in Hangzhou, China. The date for the game will be announced by the organizers later. The Super Eagles will use the friendly to prepare for their 2026 FIFA World Cup qualifying doubleheader against South Africa and Bene Republic in June. The team is yet to record a win and a qualifiers after two games. The three-time African champions held the Crocodiles of Lesotho to a 1-1 draw in the first game and also played a 1-1 draw with the Warriors of Zimbabwe in their second game. That was our news at 12, but just before we go, always drive within the specified speed limit. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms, X formerly Twitter, Lagos Traffic 961, Instagram, Lagos Traffic Radio 961. Watch us live on Facebook, Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM, and on YouTube, Subscribe and watch all our previous programs and news on our channel, Traffic Radio 961. Did you know that the Sawulu administration initiated 500 hectares rice farm technology intervention project? Well, you can get more details on the Legacy Government website and to end the news, here are the highlights of the major stories. Lagos State Governor Baba Jidi Sawulu has approved the appointment of retired Major Olani Olatubosunku as the new Corps Marshal of the Lagos State Environmental Sanitation Corps Agency Lankesk and Engineer Adifemi Adidimedia Falabi as the General Manager of the Lagos State Waste Water Management Office, Laswamo. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has commenced the distribution of sensitive materials to some of the 26 states where we run and by-elections will be held on Saturday. We also told you that a Pakistani court has handed former Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan a 10-year jail term for leaking state secrets. And then in sports, the survivors of Nigeria will face world champions Argentina in a friendly build for March at the Olympic Sports Centre Stadium in Hangzhou, China. For contact with the newsroom, send a message to Lagos Traffic Radio at lagosstate.gov.ng.
That ends the news broadcast. It was compiled by Abiola Fogbalago. Thank you so much for listening. My name is Mike James. Beautiful Tuesday afternoon. I would have Micah Arocha in a bit for lunchtime, Waka. Enjoy your time.